Hey guys, JV2 back again with another video, and I just want to say that I hope you guys enjoyed that my last video. It was pretty funny, if you ask me, especially with the part when you heard the little buzzing noise, and which I thought was a vibrator. <laughs> We're not going to get into that video. If you guys want to go ahead and watch that video, but I'll put the um, link up on the screen right now. But, um, we're now, we're gonna just talk about, um, my good friends at Frontier. Now, if you have Frontier, then you know we're, we're we all have the same problem with them. <clears throat> Slow speeds, crappy customer service, it's just all, it's just overall bad. Their internet is, they say, high speed if you look on their their um, websites and commercials especially where they try to promote their services I myself haven't seen a Frontier um, advertisement on TV at all I've only seen them on YouTube but so if you have Frontier don't get them if you're planning to get Frontier just don't get them unless you have absolutely no choice unless you're desperate for internet for phone even for TV now I personally do not have their TV service we only have their internet and telephone service which we pay like freaking 80 bucks a month but then there's other charges in there we just recently got rid of the Frontier Secure which we have never used ever since we signed up for Frontier at all. Alright, so now let's get into the real video. If you guys have Frontier and are watching this, then obviously you want to know how to fix that. You've probably tried many things. you probably tried t talking to customer service, staying on the, on the line for over an hour, one plus hours, some of you guys may have even stayed on the phone for two hours. I think the longest time we've ever stayed on the phone with Frontier was about 45 minutes. And that was just for getting um, help because our internet kept going out because it was a stormy day because, you know, stormy days really aren't the best for the internet because it just goes in and out all the time right so you try talking to customer service but have you tried talking with your region vice regional vice president or president if you live in Arizona Utah New Mexico or Nevada then your regional vice president is Mark Jeffries which I live in I live in Arizona all right after I've been talking with customer service for like like two years I just gave up on them and I don't I rarely even talk to them I only want to talk to them because Jeffrey does not answer my emails after like 440 because he goes goes back home other things to do so if you're fed up with customer service I would recommend talking with your regional vice president I sh might be able to put up the list on the screen right now but if I can I know what I'll just put it on the screen right now you can go ahead and try try emailing them I will try to put a chart up, chart up on the screen telling you where so even after alright so let's say your regional the person who takes care of that region does not answer you or doesn't want to comply with you then I would suggest talking with someone even higher than that you like the president the president of the uh, of frontier he's actually a president and CEO Daniel McCarthy but if you want to talk to him, because he's part of the executive customer care team, or whatever the frick he's called, you can go on to um, www.frontier.com. Alright. 
And then you want to go to, I, th I believe it's under support. And then you want to go to contact us. And on the right side, right side, you know, where they have those, like, slide down slot things. It'll say office of the president. There you can office, um, contact the, the president and he should be able to answer your questions or help you out with anything that you need help on but if you've if you tried that and you've gone this far the next I honestly the next step I would per take if I were you guys is legal action like talking if you have an attorney I would probably suggest talking to them and see if you can get something going with them but since I live in, like I said, I live in Arizona, what we're going to do after our internet is upgraded, we are going to, and, they, and Frontier still does not give us what we're paying for, we are going to talk to our state attorney general about this and see what he can do about it. So, I would suggest you guys talking about, talking to this about your, er, your state attorney general. And he should too. He should be able to help you out a lot more. Well, maybe not as much as Frontier because you know their Frontier. They should be able to help the help out their customers. Even if they if they can't help out their customers, then why are they even a company then, right? Because that's what customer service is for. So I would suggest talking to your state attorney general about this as well. And even if you've gone that far, I believe you can still, you can talk. You can email the FCC, which is the Federal Communications Commission. I believe it is commission, not comrades or something like that. You can talk to them, and they are basically like the figurehead of like everything, basically. All the communications, they, I don't really know much about on the FCC, but I know that they, they are required telephone companies to give you a certain amount of service the, the minimum service right now for broadband or is to be considered broadband is 25 down and 25 up now the highest you can get with Frontier DSL is 24 down 3 up so I guess that's close enough but it's still not considered true broadband internet <sighs> Alright, I've been talking to you guys for a long time now, and I've done some research on the FCC. Some research, I, I, since I don't know exactly what state you guys live in, I can't tell you, I can't tell you exactly what to do with your Attorney General. But, if you guys know what happened in Florida, their, it, their Attorney General got a meeting with Frontier. I'm not going to go through that whole story, but she got a meeting with Frontier, the executives, and they worked something out. You guys can go ahead and watch the video on YouTube. It's somewhere. Just look up Frontier, I don't know, Internet, Lawsuit, Florida. Something with that, something with like that with those keywords. And I'm pretty sure you'll find videos like that. If you've seen them, good, then you know what I mean. If you watched them on live TV, that's even better. But if you haven't looked at, look it up. It's kind of interesting, honestly. So basically, Frontier, you know, takes over Verizon and took over took over Verizon in Florida, Texas, and California. Florida's state attorney general, they got uh, the people that had Frontier or have Frontier contacted their state attorney general I'm not even sure what her name is and she got a meeting with the executives they worked something out and now I I think I haven't heard anything yet but I think the internet is a lot better now so yeah that's how powerful your state attorney general can be I haven't seen any videos or any articles or anything about my state attorney general but our, the law in Arizona is, is um, I don't know, forced or enforced in Arizona. So I'm guessing that he would help us out a lot. 
especially with this kind of um, problem that we're having. Yeah, that's basically it. Try customer if I I know you guys all tried customer service about this, and they still haven't answered. Well, they've answered, but they didn't give you the answer that you wanted. Try your regional vice president slash president, area manager, general manager, whatever the crap they're called. See if you can work something out with them. I am currently contacting Mark Jeffries, South Regional Vice President. I tried contacting the president of my region, but I instead got him. So he's been helping me out a lot, thanks to him. We should be getting a lot faster internet. Coming January, I think. Mid-January, somewhere around there. But even if you're regional vice president or whatever the heck they're called your regional executive there we go try contacting the the president who is on the board of the executive customer care team whatever they are called try contacting con try contacting him instead see if he can get your problem sorted out and even if he still doesn't get your problem sorted out, which he should, then go ahead and contact your state attorney general. If your state attorney general can't handle your case, do the FCC. And I'm sure the FCC will get on your case as soon as possible. as Because, you know, people are sending in a lot of complaints about other things as well, not just Frontier. And really the only other thing I can recommend to you guys is go ahead and go ahead and start a class action lawsuit. That's probably probably not the best, but it can work because if he as you guys saw in West Virginia that they filed a class action lawsuit against Frontier. Frontier offered the state 150 million. Frontier used that 150 million or no, actually Frontier was granted 150 million to fix their problem in West Virginia. So Frontier misused that money and they were investigated by the FBI. Yada yada yada. All that all that stuff have went down in West Virginia. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope I helped your helped out your situation. If you guys need more help, just comment down below. I don't really know much on law. I want to, but that's going to take like a long time to even know. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will once again put up the um, your executives for your area on the screen right now. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Mark, Mark Jeffries for help me out on this because you know customer service doesn't know anything so thank you to Mark Jeffries if you guys if he's if he's watching this right now thanks man and I'll catch you guys on the next video bye